In this video, I'm going to talk about payment gateway integration in Microsoft Power Pages. So Stripe uh, integration is readily available currently within the Microsoft Power Pages application. So Stripe is basically a company which primarily offers payment processing software and application programming interface for e-commerce websites and mobile applications. So uh, Stripe uh, will allow uh, an integration of online payment uh, within the Microsoft Power Pages site. Now, what happens when you integrate a payment gateway with the website is like uh, the integration of the entire online payment gets streamlined. Uh, for the entire transaction process. Now, payment gateways can accept payments via credit cards, digital wallets, or other popular payment methods. Uh, it provides a configurable checkout experience, uh, and Power Pages site can be used as a transactional site for receiving payments. So you can integrate any sort of services within your Power Pages site, and it can accept payments. Now, the most common scenario in the enterprise world would be like setting up a donation site for a not-for-profit organization, or it can be a subscription site uh, for uh, uh, any of the services which you offer to the customer. Now, what are the steps to configure Stripe integration with Power Pages? So what I've done is I've segregated it into two parts. Now, one is the configuration at a Stripe level, uh, and second is configuration at a Power Pages level. Now, Stripe. Now, what you need to do first is you need to create a Stripe account. So you need to have a valid Stripe account. So you can navigate to this URL and create your own Stripe account. Verify your Stripe account once you create that account. And uh, I will take an approach of development. So uh, we won't go directly with the production application. So uh, you need to go into developers tab and generate an API key. So there are a couple of keys, publishable key and a secret key. Okay, so you need to gener generate these two keys. Uh, and then once you have that keys defined, uh, you can use that in the Power Pages site. Now from a Power Pages site configuration, uh, you need to navigate to the Power Pages Design Studio and under Integration External Apps, uh, there is an option to install the Stripe app and then you need to enable the Stripe app. The moment you enable the Stripe app, uh, it will ask for a couple of keys. Now this is the same key which you saw over here, the publishable key and the secret key. So you need to copy that keys. And once you copy that key, uh, Stripe would be enabled in your Power Pages site. Now, uh, basic rules. Uh, anyways, you are creating a payment gateway. Uh, uh, you're going to leverage the payment gateway service. So definitely there, there should be some sort of a field which accepts the value, which is of type currency. Okay, so you need to create your table. Now the table can be any table within your application, but make sure that it has a field with a currency data type. Okay, so this is bare minimum, this is mandatory. You need to have that uh, field defined within your table. Uh, and then uh, once you have this thing set up, then it's a straightforward uh, process. You need to create a page and then within that page, you can have a multi-step form. And within that multi-step form in the first step, you can ask for some information. And in the second step, uh, uh, if you have gathered all the information, then you can directly call the payment gateway application. Okay, so it's a simple step. What I'm going to do is like I'm going to demonstrate it to you straight uh, here. So, uh, okay, uh, so this is the Power Pages site which we are going to use. So, this is a like I've created one site called as Christmas, you know, and it has a couple of pages. So, I'm going to demonstrate it to you over here now. Uh, how to navigate? So first you go into the Power Pages Design Studio and here uh, you will see a button called a Setup. So click on Setup and under Setup, if you go to Integrations, you will find External Apps. Okay. Now Stripe, you might see a couple of options, Stripe and DocuSign. So in Stripe, uh, here Currently, I have already installed. So you might see something called as an action install button, okay, like the install hyperlink. Now, once you click on that install uh, within Stripe, uh, it will start the process of installing Stripe within your uh, Power Pages site. Now, I have already installed, and that's why the status is coming as installed. But uh, it will uh, look like, you know, like how it is there for the DocuSign over here. It will look like this 
at the initial stage and once it is done you will see an installed tick icon okay uh, then uh, you need to click on enable okay once you click on enable it will ask for a couple of things so if i click on enable it will ask for secret key and a publishable key okay now for me uh, i have already copied the secret key and publishable key but from where do we get that secret and publishable key so first thing what you need to do is like you need to go into stripe.com okay so let me type in the url stripe.com okay so it will navigate uh, it will redirect you to some uh, specific uh, you know, page uh, so i'm being directed to stripe.com dot dot stripe.com slash au uh, and here you need to create an account now i've already created an account and verified it so that's why it's uh, you know, allowing me to log me in now if i click on dashboard you know uh, after verifying my account uh, it will give you an interface to uh, see all the payments balances and all those kind of things over here now this is all production based scenarios okay now I'm not going to do a production site. What I would be needing is a developer site. So I'll click on developers, okay? And then under API keys, okay? Under API keys, you will find the couple of keys over here, the publishable key and a secret key. So you just need to click on publishable key, copy it. You need to click on reveal test key, then it will expose a secret key, copy that. And then you now you've got publishable key and secret key. Now go to your power pages site and when you click on enable button under stripe you need to just copy paste the secret key and publishable key now once that is done save it sync the site okay so your stripe application is installed now uh, <clears throat> let's see what happens in the back end when you install a stripe application okay so if you go to make.powerapps.com okay uh, and if you see the if you go to the right environment and see the solution so i just want to show you uh, how the solution looks like once you install uh, the stripe application okay so i click on solutions and if i click on yeah so if i click on the manage solution so there are a couple of things which gets installed you know, uh, so here you will see Power Pages Stripe Integration V2, okay? And then there is a Power Pages Payment V2 solution, okay? Now, this solution gets installed, okay? Once you install the Power Pages Stripe application, okay? Now, if you go inside the solution, you will see a uh, uh, couple of uh, items. So uh, I'm just showing you just, just, just for your information. Uh, so these things happen when you uh, click on enable uh, the power pages uh, stripe application now if you go back um, you can uh, also see the other solution which gets installed called as power pages payment v2 okay so you can go inside the solution and have a look into it uh, now there may or may not be component within that now here in power pages payment v2 we have one table which has uh, 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 one table and couple of choice components uh, so here uh, it, it stores basically the uh, the component of uh, the transactions within this table okay so this is just for your reference purpose uh, if if you look at that's fine but you just need to know what's happening within your environment when you enable the uh, power pages uh, stripe integration now okay we have configured the keys we have everything in place now second step is to like do something in your power pages so in power pages uh, i have a table called as a pickleball subscription okay basically it's like a sport whereby i am collecting uh, 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 say money for the subscription okay for, from various people now uh, here i have a simple table which has a pickleball subscription a text column uh, then a drop down value and remember i told you you need to have one field of currency so i have a currency called as play cost okay now these are the very simple form you know so now once this table is created you need to create two forms okay now this is the bare minimum okay uh, like 
like the first form and the second form. Now, the first form, you will collect all the information like pickleball, subscription, club, and all those value, or maybe play cost also from here, okay? And in the second form, you just keep it blank, okay? Because this, we will use it for payment gateway. So first form, you collect all the information, whatever you need, okay? And the second form, just keep it blank and we will integrate the payment gateway application over here okay now your application can be as complex as it can go you can have say four or five different uh, forms and then one form will call another form and then that's fine you know at the last step you know you will collect payment so even this arrangement is fine but for simplicity purpose i'm just showing you this two form approach whereby first form will collect the basic information and the second form will be integrating with payment gateway so in order to do that, I have created a couple of forms. So if you click on forms, uh, let me click on this forms. So you will see F01 and F02. So if I click on F01, you will see uh, some information being collected in this form. So you can have a pickleball subscription, you have a club, and uh, maybe I'll add play cost as well. Okay. So play cost is already there. I've just hidden it. So let me unhide this. Okay. And I'll just say save and publish. Okay. So this is the first form. Uh, and the second form will like will be again a simple form, but it will have nothing in it. Okay. So let me publish this. Yep. So let me show you the second form as well. So F02, it has like technically nothing in it. I have hidden like uh, most of the components which is there in the form. So this is just like kind of, a, it will act as a placeholder for the uh, the Stripe application, okay? So if you, if I click over here, you can see all the basic information stored over here, okay? So I won't save it. Uh, so this is the setup, okay? Now, going back to Power Pages, go into your pages, and uh, let me create one page called as uh, collect payment okay so i'll we'll start with a blank page and in the blank page uh, i will add a multi-step form so let me call this form as uh, say multi-step form uh, 0007 okay some name okay i'm just saving this okay now once we have the multi-step form we need to add the first step so the first step is basically uh, i'll call this a step collect info okay so here i will refer to that table which is pickleball subscription and it will load a form so i'll select f01 the form okay and i'll click on okay so this is the form content okay now second step would be to add uh, that payment gateway stuff right now uh, i will add another step and i've got a step two and say collect payment okay and then i'll select that same table uh, pickleball subscription and select f02 okay now see app integration is grayed out okay just watch out for this okay i'll just click okay okay now, what you need to do once you create the first step, you just need to do a sync. Okay, so let me sync this up. Once your form is saved, you just do a sync. So once it syncs the configuration, uh, the integration tab should be enabled. Okay. Yeah. Again, it is synced. Let me go to the step settings. Now, if you see the app integration is enabled. So if I click on app integration, I'll just click on enable digital payment. Now here it will populate all the currency field against that table. So now I have one currency field, which is play cost. Okay. Now, if you had four currency field, it will display four currency field over here. Now for every currency field, you have a base field as well. So I'll just select the play cost field over here. Now this, remember, this will collect the currency value. Okay, so I click on OK. Now, the moment you do that, you will see some sort of a card interface which has a uh, uh, like a form which collects the card number, expiry, CVC, and the country details. Okay, so I'm good with this. Let me sync this. Okay, now how to test the credit card uh, information in your dev environment? Okay, now uh, 
in Stripe, if you go into this URL, stripe.com slash doc slash testing hash cards, here you will find all the card types, okay, through which you can uh, test the application. So if you have a Visa or a Visa debit card, you can copy this value, okay, and CVC and date can be any number, okay. Now remember, date has to be a future date, okay. So if you want to do a transaction within Visa or Visa debit or MasterCard or MX or Discover, uh, go to this page and copy these values, okay. Now, once this uh, page is synced, what we can do is maybe go to home and let me preview this page okay okay now this is the home page basically uh now we have created a page called as collect payment so if i click on collect payment it will ask for some information so it will ask for subscription so maybe i'll say uh, singles And play cost is uh, maybe fifteen dollars. Okay, and club say PA. Okay, and I'll click on next. So this is the first step. I'm collecting information. In the second step, uh, we should be thrown with a screen of uh, payment gateway. Now this is the payment gateway screen. Now as I told you, if you want to select a specific card uh, to test, I'll copy the Visa card. So I'll just copy this and. let me go into this page yep so this is that page i'll paste the visa card i'll put expiry as some future date so 12 25 and cvc some random value countries australia and so i'm i'm good with it i'll just click on pay now okay now once you do that uh, it will prompt you to save the information and then it'll say your payment for say whatever amount you put was successfully processed and this is the transaction id now how do you verify actually whether the payment is done or not uh, you can go into the backend table, you know, the payment table which you have seen, like say, let's see what comes in this payment table, you know, if I click on this payment table, now, this is the by default uh, table which comes with the application, okay, now it stores the transaction as well, now it, it has stored the transaction of the one which I have just done. Okay, so it, it stores that value. And at the same time, you can go into Stripe and see. Okay, so if I go into Stripe, let me go here. Now we just did a $15 payment. Now here, if you see this, the you, you get all this information, the payment, this transaction for $15 has succeeded. Now, if you compare this value with the transaction ID over here, it matches, okay? So Stripe will store all the information. It will have all sort of logs. It will have uh, like all the events which is happening and it will give you a nice summary of how many transactions have succeeded, how many transactions have failed. So it will give you a nice uh, visually uh, appealing interface, okay? So this is how you can test, okay? Now remember we are in the developer environment. So uh, once you move your site to production, then uh, the settings will be a bit different. So you can go ahead and then uh, make your site production ready as well. Okay. So that's it, folks. This is all about uh, making use of the payment gateway interface provided by Stripe in Microsoft Power Pages. Thanks for watching.